Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our Gaff Zeppelin in some classic Metal Earth packaging. And if you're following along at home and yours looks slightly different, don't worry, the inside metal is exactly the same. The packaging here is just really old. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back, we get some instructions on how to build our model, followed by some history on the Gaff Zeppelin. At the very bottom, we get a look at some other models in the series. And finally, on the right here, we have a QR code which we can scan to get a 360 view of our model while we're building. This is great for adding little bits of detail onto our build, especially these uh, little engines right here. All right, let's go ahead and open up our package. We have our instructions, and we have our metal. Two really good looking sheets, and not a whole lot of parts here. I thought there would be a lot more. All right, let's go ahead and get out our first couple of pieces. Okay, and there we have it. All of our pieces needed for that first page, and I have my tweezers here ready to go. Now the first thing we're going to be doing is bending a small little engine here on part one. And uh, looking at this metal and seeing how thin these little pieces are here, it's going to be really hard to do this without warping this piece. You know, I think i got to thank Tube Hero 2109 the original here for giving me this build to do right away but I'm starting to feel like he was trying to sabotage me here. So, any love you want to send his way, there you go, send it his way. All right, let's go ahead and start bending this little engine here. I'm just kidding. If you guys ever have any builds you want to suggest, you guys just suggest a way. I love to build this stuff, so anything you guys want to do, just let me know. Now, uh, what I'm going to try to do here, and what I'm noticing, is that this little area here is kind of getting in my way. And, um... What I think is important to realize is that we are bending this um, where the engraved side is here. We're going to be bending that on the outside. We want to see that because, see, this is where the uh, detail is here. So if we orientate it to what we have on the page, we can see that this right here is the non-engraved side. And now what we're going to do is just kind of bend this up. This is kind of hard, though, uh, again, with this propeller here. So I'm going to try to bend that out of the way. And... Um, I think it's my second my uh, second step here, and I'm going to use my tweezers to help me with this. I'm going to get this bend started here. And what I'm doing is just kind of kind of getting a couple bends in there just to kind of help me get started. And then when I bring my tool up here, I start, you know, manhandling it like I am right now. It makes it a little easier for me to get the pieces where I want them. I'm just trying not to warp any other parts of the metal. It's kind of a tricky maneuver to do, especially with how the uh, how that piece is. But we got a nice little shape there. I'm actually really happy with that. It's not too much of a teardrop. Let's see if I can show you that. Not too much of a teardrop there. Kind of nice. Okay. Now let's just do one of these little maneuvers. Now I don't like to have a teardrop as you know, so we're going to kind of round that out if I can. And um, not too bad. I like it. I like it. Not bad. And it's because, again, we got that nice little rounded edge at the tip that kind of really makes that teardrop go away. Now we're going to just push this little cap here in. Boom. Push the cap in on the other side. And we're going to let that propeller kind of fall back a little bit here. We're going to grab the propeller. And we're going to push it back. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm actually really happy with how that engine formed. It looks really nice. And a little bit later, I'm gonna give a little bit of a bend on these propellers here, just kind of give a little bit more detail. But right now, we're gonna go ahead to moving on to part two, this guy right here. And again, we're just gonna match the picture here. And there she goes. And then we're going to grab part three. Oops, oops, oops. There we go. And now we're going to grab part three here. And I'm going to jam part three through all of the pieces of metal we just stacked through. Now I'm going to work on one side at a time. 
and um, I should be able to get it pretty easily. I have it pretty lined up here. As I said that, of course, I moved everything. <laughs> oh. It actually might be easier to feed one piece at a time on here as opposed to doing everything at once like I did. Yeah, YOLOing it is not always a good option. All right. Now these are twisted into place. I am putting pressure on this uh, third piece here to really try to get a good connection. There we go. And let me see here. Come on now. There we are. And we're going to go the opposite way. This way. Yeah, right? Because I went the opposite way. I hope I went the opposite way. We'll have to look back in there. If I didn't do the opposite, do the opposite. It saves you a ton of pain later on. Okay, now we have all of our pieces added for that first page. We need more parts. Okay, now we have everything needed for that second and third page. The first thing we're going to be doing is grabbing our model here and actually bending these pieces that we had from before into their different angles. Now, uh, this is going to be tricky. I might have wanted to do this before actually attaching everything together here, but um, now that we have everything together, we're going to go ahead and try to bend this out. And uh, I'm just going to open this up a little bit. and. Um, I'm going to hold this piece down here pretty tight and I'm going to actually use two tools to do this and the reason why I'm going to do this is to get a really nice bend. Uh, that first bend is going to be very important and I'm going to have to match it on this side here. Um, I'm going to try to do it this way because the way the instructions say, but I do wonder if this would be a little bit easier to do if these weren't already all connected. Um, let's go ahead and try doing it the way the instructions tell us. We also have a really nice diagram there to follow when we have all of these pieces bent. So we do know what it's supposed to look like when we have everything bent right. Okay. Oh. Do that. Oh, come on now. There we go. Huh. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how this is right now. I know it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be because once we start adding these pieces on here, um, all these little, little tick marks here, we can start placing them into the little slots and everything should line up and we can make what adjustments we need to as we go. Just be careful not to warp these pieces too much. I mean, it is a pretty thin piece of metal here we're working with. And uh, if you look at the pictures, you notice you're using multiple tools to get the job done. And that is definitely something that you might want to look at if you're having a hard time getting these to uh, bend where you want them to bend. Okay, let's grab A here. Now A goes at the front. So let's start with that one. I think the best thing for me to do is maybe to attach to one side and then feed them in as I go. This first one might be the hardest too because this is kind of getting our, our real form here with all the other slides. This is kind of getting us our real form here. And it looks like for the most part we are meeting our goals okay there we go all of our slots are in place and everything's looking pretty good we can move on to B now I think everything will go a lot easier from now on just because uh, that first piece was so difficult to get in but now we have all the proper spacing so we should be okay now watch me again eat my words okay Now, all of these pieces, of course, have letters on them, and that's A all the way through to M. And what we want to do is make sure that when we're putting these pieces on, that we're double checking to make sure that we have the proper piece going in the right spot. You would be surprised how many times that has happened to me in other builds. Uh, just take your time, make sure you're putting the right piece on, especially if you've already pre-cut all of your pieces out. 
You know, our friends over at 3D Metal Model Tools actually made a pretty cool little uh, tool that you can purchase. It's called a, a nulling board, or sorry, correction, a nulling board. And uh, Adam Savage actually has them inside of his workshop. It has what he uses to build some more difficult builds. And uh, it's actually a pretty good idea uh, for these. If you're one of those people that like to cut out all of your pieces while you're building, I'm not one of them. I like to cut mine uh, no more than two or three pages at a time, especially on their bigger models. I'm hoping to do some bigger ones here soon too. I just want to make sure I get the requests out of the way that I have. I also want to do some more Star Wars ones. Now I know this detail is getting pretty repetitious at this point, and I'm going to cut away in a moment here to where everything is complete. But I want you builders to know that we have a really awesome website, GrooveBuilders.ca, where we have some pretty awesome Metal Earth models on there, and a lot of them have come at your request. If you guys see anything from Metal Earth that you would like for me to pick up and put into the store, just send me an email or a direct message over Instagram, and I'll be more than glad to take a look at getting them into the shop, and of course, even making some videos like this too. I love making these videos for you out there, and if I can give you some tips and tricks on how to make these more difficult models, hey, I'm in. Last little piece here. And like I said, as you go along, you just make sure that every one of these guys is making it into their proper slot. And you should have a really nice frame. I was really worried about it being warped, but it's turning out pretty good. Okay, there we go. That looks really good. And it looks like we only have one little line here that looks like it didn't really want to go into place. But everything else looks like it's fitting the line and where it needs to be. Alright, Groove Builders, we need more parts. And there we go, we have all of our parts needed to build the Gaff Zeppelin. Now normally I wouldn't go ahead and just cut out all the pieces, but because there's so little left, I thought why not. Now the first thing we're going to be doing is just forming piece 18 here. And the way we're going to do this is by flipping it over like this on the side here. And we're going to use our dapping set here to try to get a good form. Now I'm going to start by trying to get the form this way by making a tube shape. And all I'm doing is rubbing the metal back and forth, making sure to get each side equally with the pressure. And that's going to make a really nice shape for us. Now that ball shape here will also help us get this curve, but I'll show you how I do that in a moment. Okay, pretty good. Let's move to a smaller size here. Same thing. Pressure. Whoops, that guy rolled away on me. Now it looks like we're getting a nice little shape here. And um, as we make this shape, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get all these tabs into place. But we still got quite a bit of shaping here to do before we get too close. Um, I'm going to try using my ball shape here, see if I can speed this along a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go back to a bigger size here because I think ultimately that's where we're going to be heading here and I can always work my way of course back down you never want to start on the smallest one that's just a bad way of getting things done alright let's just do this and again I'm just using that shape that basic shape and um, I'm gonna get that ball shape here at the front um, you will saw how I got that nice rounded look there I'll make all those meet up in a moment
Okay. I'm going to work on these edges here with my other little tool here. This is a fondant tool that works excellent for these builds. I actually highly recommend these. Um, I didn't think at first I was going to get as much use out of them as I as I end up getting out of them, but they, they work really well. Especially when you have like a rounded piece like this, where you got to round it off. It works super well. All right, I'm liking where we're going here. Let's see if we can start connecting some of these edges here now. I'm gonna try to hide these tabs if I can. Trying to get that nice little rounded edge there. Um, this is proving to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. And you know what I just realized too? Is that this inside's all nice and scratched up now. Um, but you're going to be seeing that when you're looking at it, which is a real shame. So when you guys are bending this here in the middle, um, that rolling method really isn't the best method to use. So may learn from my mistake here. Don't roll the uh, tools on the inside because again, you're going to be seeing that. Now I hope that through this little mesh that we made earlier, it's going to be pretty much invisible, but that's a little bit of a bummer. Let's continue on with hooking up these different uh, tabs here at the top and getting a really nice shape. Bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Tube head. Tube head. Okay, now we got that uh, all connected here at the tip. A lot easier than I was originally anticipating it to be, but it's still uh, getting in the way here. It doesn't have all the gaps gone. I just want to make sure everything is nice and secure before I start forming and moving things around a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to kind of puff this out, and that should bring the gaps into play a little bit better. That looks fantastic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's uh, form that little back piece here. That's part 19. Part 18 there just really just takes some time to get right, but once you get it right, it works really nice. It looks really nice. Okay. There we go, looking neat. Now back to the little engines here. These little engines are the vein of our existence. No, I'm just kidding, they're pretty easy to form. All we need to do is just grab our little uh, step drill here. Pretty easy. And we know it's the second one we're gonna be using. Mimicking the first. So this one's a lot easier because it's not attached to a bigger piece. And again, we're gonna get right on top there, and we're gonna use our tweezers to really make sure that top edge is bent. Cool. Put that to the side, grab the next one. Again, these are part 20. If you cut out part 21 at the same time, they do face different directions if you get them confused. Again, make sure you get to the top there, make sure that top little part is really bent go cool take that off now let's install to the side once we get them in place I'll actually form them and again always go the opposite especially with these guys here because of the way they're gonna be standing you want them to stand independently and not move around if you bend them the same way they will definitely move around on you that's our first one done
propellers looking pretty sick. I like it. I like it. We got to move on to the next instruction here, which is just, of course, adding more engines on. Same thing as before. We're grabbing our step mandrel here, and we're just going to be bending it over. Cool. I actually really like how this looks. This is a neat little aircraft, I'm not gonna lie. It's too bad these aren't uh, more used. I know they're not the most practical form of travel, but uh, it's still, these are pretty cool vehicles. Are pretty cool airships. I'm gonna bring the propeller back first, actually. And then I'm gonna bring this guy down. And then we're gonna just bend him in. Bring the propeller back and smush it together. There we go. Very neat. Very, very neat. Okay, now we have those all attached. We can move on to the next phase, which I believe is attaching our part A and part B together. This is part A and this is part B. And you'll see a whole bunch of tabs. And so what I'm going to do is try to bend these ever so slightly like this. And that will allow for things to go a little bit more smoothly as we put the two halves together. It's just a very small bend. We're going to leave these ones here at the front for right now. And I'll show you why. Right, grab these guys right here. And I'm going to start at the bottom. Do I need to give you a little force? Oh, this is a little force. That's all it was. This little force gives me all the love I need. What down here? Maybe a little, a little, little more force. Oh yeah, look at that force. Oops, don't want to take too much of that. Not too much force now. There we go. All right, bend that guy down. We're trying to make this as flush as possible. And then, awesome. Okay, we got that all done. Awesome, awesome. Okay, this little back area needs to be worked out a little bit, but we'll get it worked out. Oh, where? There we go, clicked them back in the spot. Okay, cool, we have that all complete and looking really nice. Now this front piece here, we have to bend down and we're gonna do that very carefully here because we don't want to accidentally break any of our pieces. So we bend that right there, we just tuck it right back in there, and that makes it a really nice connection. Same with this side here. We're gonna bring it in. A little bit more push there. I like it, I like it. All right, let's take this. It's very easy to squish these engines on the side, so be very careful with those. Um, I'm having a really hard time not squishing them. Now, part 22 here is pretty simple to do. Simple little box. Um, let's bend the long pieces first, and then we'll bend the short ones. Long. Long. There we go. Grab the center of this piece and bend it down center of this piece and bend it down cool awesome 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 now with 22 done we can move on to the actual area where the crew is gonna hang out and that is right here bend this back I'm just following the fold lines here of part 23 going right to those fold lines and is bending back making some really good moves here I'm gonna do I bend this like this. Okay. Now you'll notice the piece we just bent there has a massive little loop in it. Now, if you're not as confident as me with your loops, what you could do is you could just follow that loop um, from that one piece. But what I'm gonna do is I'm pretty sure that I can apply pressure evenly on either side and get the right shape as long as I use my fingers properly um, this is definitely not the best way about going about this as I just saw oh we are so close and we got her 
Just a little bit of love there, and we got her in there. Okay, we're gonna bend this like this. Same with that back spot. Boom. We got our pieces in the right spot. And now what I'm doing is just kind of forming it out. Um, you could have done this a lot easier by actually just uh, following part 24 here and forming 23 off of it, as opposed to what I did. Um, what I did was definitely not the easy way. And that's just a warning to everybody out there. Sometimes I do things thinking they're going to be a little easier and they end up not being. And when they're not, I don't want you guys to repeat them. On the money. Just got to concentrate. That's all it is. Okay. What would be the best way to hide these tabs? I think folding them over um, as opposed to doing a twist. There we go. I'm going to do opposites because that's how we roll. Now with our cockpit in, we need to attach this to our base. Awesome. This is definitely a classic, a Metal Earth base here. Funny enough, you know, I actually already built this model. This was one of the first models that I built that was from another brand. So the one I have is actually not a Metal Earth brand, it's a uh, complete knockoff brand. So to be building the Metal Earth one, it actually do have a comparison. The Metal Earth one, the metal, is significantly better. The knockoff brand, it's very tinny. And in the Groove Builders episode, I'll show you the difference. Cool. Alrighty. There is our Gaff Zeppelin.